Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today I am making a guacamole and I was inspired by Chris over at Caribbean Pot and he made his own version using scotch bonnet peppers which are super hot and also some mango to give a little bit of sweetness but for us what we're doing is we're using jalapeno peppers so it's not quite the burn and we might add some extra special ingredients at the very end to give it my own twist so let's get cooking i first get my avocados which have been ripened already they're nice and soft i like to use haas avocados see how green it is it's okay sometimes they have bruises the only problem is if your avocados get too old they're a little fibrous and you really don't want a mouthful of fiber. Key here, get that pit out. Okay, next one, done. I scoop out my avocado into the bowl. I like chunky avocado, so I'm not gonna really mash the heck out of this. And that's there. Get some chopped in cilantro. And again, you don't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be super minced. You just want to make sure that you're giving it a little bit of texture, color, and flavor. For me, this is about all I need. Still nice and big pieces in there. I'm gonna get some lemon juice in there. Key also, squeeze with the fork inside so you can administer as much as you want. It's about right for me, which is about a half a teaspoon of lemon juice. The cilantro was about one tablespoon. I'm going to use the whole jalapeno, which means that I don't bother removing any of the seeds or the ribs from it because to me, if it has a little bit of kick, that's all that matters. Nice and minced. It's kind of like a bell pepper, not so spicy, so we're going to give it just a tad bit more. I'm going to show you a trick that you can do with your tomato to remove the seeds extra quick, but make sure that you have a sharp knife when you do it and make sure that you don't cut yourself. And Believe it or not, a dull knife hurts more than a sharp knife when you do a cut yourself. Tomato. Slice here, slice the end, and I come in and I remove the core as I go along the outside. Seeds come out and now I can chop. Nice and easy. We just want some strips because we're going to go across them and make some dice. It is and in it goes and there's that and now for a little bit of my twist my own way and adding that secret ingredient we're gonna do some garlic and the way that I like to do the garlic here using fresh garlic is I chop it up a bit make sure that the blade is away from me and I just kind of go back and forth rocking and making a paste with the garlic garlic paste, scoop it up, in it goes, and then the last thing is cumin. Cumin powder, ground cumin. You can use whole seeds with the mortar and pestle if you want to, but it's so much easier and so much cheaper just to get the ground. I add about a half a teaspoon of that. And then I garnish some salt on that, and you're done. Super simple, easy, delicious. Go in, break it up, and mix. Pretty colors, and we're good. That's it. Super easy, super simple, and super tasty guacamole, bootleg style, and that's it. Good to go. See you soon with another bootleg tip. Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making taco dias, which is a cross between a taco and a quesadilla 